Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since we've talked because my last video was like a pre and post workout routine. So I wasn't able, wait, actually, no, I had one more video after that, but it was like an Arizona vlog. It was all over the place. And I feel like I haven't just like taken you guys around with me and us hang out alone in a couple of days. So I'm just starting this vlog. I'm gonna take you guys through today. It's Tuesday and then we leave on Thursday. So it's 10 a.m. right now. I went to spin this morning, came home, FaceTime Katie for a little bit, showered, got ready for my day. <laughs> what was that look? You want head scratch? I feel like I have been extra tired just because I've been like filming for the guide which obviously takes a lot out of you and then at the same time I've been filming for YouTube and all of that so I didn't do vlogmas or anything like that I honestly never have done that I did think I did it once but I probably didn't even make it to the 25 days but I just wanted a really calm morning that's why I woke up early today and I knew I would have like a little bit extra time to hang out and chill I just watched Keaton Milburn's vlogmas video and now I'm about to go get ready because I'm actually taking a photo in my home gym. If you guys remember, my home gym in my last house was really, <laughs> it was really functional. I feel like I was working out in there a lot, but when we moved to this house, I needed an office space. Well, I felt like we needed an office space and we turned this little room into my office, but it wasn't big enough to have it as an office and a gym. So it turned into the office. I've been working out outside when I work out at home just because now we have a little patio, so it's been fine. Now that I am doing the guide and everything, I want to be able to show that like you can do the workouts at home. So I think I'm going to shoot my own like photos in the gym. I was going to have my photographer friend Dion come help me because he did our engagement photos and our engagement photos turned out like literally better than I could imagine. Such a good vibe. Like he just captured the moment really well. And I was like, this is literally perfect. And he was gonna come up and help me today, but he can't with work and everything. So I'm just gonna shoot by myself. I think it's fine. I'm also wearing like the cutest PJs today. Stand up so you guys can see them. They're from Princess Polly and they're so freaking soft. If you wanna get in the holiday season, this Laneige is the peppermint one and it really smells like a candy cane. It feels really good on your lips too. And it's a little bit minty. It doesn't burn or anything I feel like it does kind of clear my sinuses because it's super minty Cook <laughs> smells it but Princess Polly's is actually sponsoring today's video so I want to show you guys everything I got there's some stuff that I want to wear to the snow too which is really cute I kind of did like more wintry clothes because we're going on that trip and it's been really cold in California so this is going to be like my winter Princess Polly haul and we'll just put it right here in the vlog I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from Princess Polly and try it on for you guys and if you guys didn't know, Princess Polly actually ships from within the United States, so they offer free standard shipping on all orders over 50 US dollar. And they also offer shop pay and after pay, which helps you buy now and pay over time, which is really great. And they also have really cute stuff for the holiday season. So like I said, I did kind of like a winter haul, starting off with this really pretty jacket. This is my favorite piece from the entire haul today. I really wanted a brown jacket that I could wear as more dressy maybe with a dress underneath with some tights or even with like dress pants I feel like this would be really pretty I went with the US 6 which is one size above my size and it's still a more slim fit jacket definitely doesn't have the oversized fit the cutest crop jacket I also think this would be really cute just with jeans to the beach or for dinner but I love this I think it's the cutest color and I feel like I could wear this so many different times so really really love this Probably my favorite, other than the PJs that I'm wearing, going off of more of the warmer but dressy feel. I thought this knit skirt would be perfect with like a black bodysuit underneath it. I don't know if you guys can tell the material, but it looks kind of like boucle. The softest material, even like maybe wearing this as a maxi dress and use it as a tube top. Really pretty. I feel like you could dress this up, you could dress it down. And I really love the way that this fits too. It's super low rise, so I feel like, hold on. Put this down so you can see it is a little see-through so i would need to wear like a bodysuit underneath so it wasn't like my actual underwear showing but maybe like the bottom of the bodysuit which can be really pretty and then an oversized blazer and it hits perfectly at the bottom what really is the best thing about this 
skirt is it's so soft sometimes with like sweater material it's always hit or miss and then next up i really wanted a basic pair of jeans because i feel like princess polly does denim really good okay perfect amount of oversize i really love these i really liked the bottom i'm gonna try and show you guys but the bottom has a slit so if I wear boots or if I wear heels, you'll be able to see it really well. And I don't have any pair of jeans that are this wash that are like a baggier fit. So cannot wait to wear these. Also really cute if I just had like an oversized sweater with them. And then I got two really pretty dresses I'll show you guys on real quick. This is actually the first time I'm putting this on and I love this dress. I might wear this to dinner the first night of our trip. I think with some tights, this would be super cute. And maybe an oversized blazer or something that kind of covers the butt just since it is pretty short but super cute if you have a holiday party or just anything that you want to look a little bit more put together love that and it's really really soft i'm surprised okay i love this dress i definitely have to wear this to a nice dinner when we go on our trip i like the material of this dress it's a little bit more dressy so it's kind of a thick material which is really nice and then obviously the side is open maybe not the best for a snow trip because it might get a little cold but there's a cute tie on it and then it's obviously just a really tight dress all the way down so pretty this with boots and even like this jacket over top would be so cute i love this they have really cute stuff for like nicer dresses and parties that you might have this holiday season this one is a win you guys should get this if you have anything coming up because i feel like it's so cute and lastly they have really cute matching sweat sets this would be perfect to go to the beach it's so cozy and perfect for like a travel day or just a really cute chill like pizza day or something like that i love this one i just went with the cream one because it had this really cute navy blue detailing that said princess polly and the back is so cute i love these i also have a code with them that you guys can use i'll put it on the screen and you'll actually get 20 percent off again thank you so much princess polly for sponsoring today's video and i'm gonna go get ready because i want to take those photos and get moving for the day because the sun sets at four so we don't have a lot of day <laughs> i'm gonna get ready for the pictures that i want to take in my little gym I'm actually going to use my own camera, like I'm just going to use the camera that I vlog on because, well, I actually might use my G7X. I have an old G7X that the screen is broken on it, so I can't vlog on it, but I can take photos on it and download them onto my computer, and they always turn out really good. That's a really good camera for vlogging or just taking photos because the flash is really bright, so it gives it a really nice look. Like, a lot of people that post, like, digital camera posts on Instagram. It's usually with the G7X. I actually went to Best Buy yesterday to get a new camera because I love the camera that I use. The screen is shattered on it as you guys know. So I'm just a little nervous that when I go on a trip like it might break even though there's no reason why I feel like it might break. I just am scared because I do drop it a lot and it's always nice to have a backup. Plus I love the G7X for photos. So I wanted to get another one, but they're sold out literally everywhere, which sucks, especially because I know a lot of people like to get vlog cameras for the holidays in case anybody's starting a YouTube channel or if they already have a YouTube channel and they want a new camera. So the camera that I use is actually a Canon M50 and it's the EOS. It's so good because it has a detachable lens, so you can always buy new lenses for it. You can do like the fisheye lens, which is really nice. I just have the standard lens that it came with. I can link it down below. Hopefully it's still available. You never know. With cameras, it should be though because this isn't as popular of a camera, but pretty much all my friends have this camera and it works really well. So it's a really good alternative to the G7X if you guys want a camera to start vlogging on. It's actually a little bit better quality in my opinion and the sound is way better. But I'm going to get ready for my day and just do a little bit of makeup. I don't want to do anything too much because it's going to be like a fitness photo shoot so obviously i don't wear that much makeup when i work out personally so i just want to do a little bit i have my merit perfecting concealer it's actually a foundation but sometimes i use it as a concealer and i use the morphe brushes to blend it out I might not need to go in with my YSL skin tint over top this because usually I don't do this much with the perfecting merit stick. I'm just going to wear an all black workout set and some workout shoes. And then I have these earrings just to add a little bit more detail because I don't really mind working out in earrings actually. These are from Amazon so obviously not the best quality but at the end of the day I feel like earrings is not like 
I'm wearing them 24 seven and showering in them unless they're studs. So I think they're a really good deal and I will link them down below. But I'll see you guys after I do my makeup and after I do my little photo shoot. We have a lot going on right here, but I just got back from the grocery store and then I opened a few packages. I actually got this Amazon tote bag on obviously on Amazon and I literally think this is my new favorite bag I've ever had. The quality is so good. I did pay like $50 for it and I just think it's worth it. I think it's so cute and it fits my camera which I love. And then I got these earmuffs for a trip because I didn't want to spend too much money on earmuffs. Obviously I'm not going to use them really other than those three days that were there. And then I got the earrings that I'm wearing today in silver so that whenever I'm wearing a silver outfit I can wear those. And then I also went to the grocery store and just got a got a few things that will get us through till Thursday since it's only Tuesday we're gonna have to eat a couple times at home so I got stuff to make my chicken tortilla corn soup which will be really good I'm gonna put that on right now in the crock pot I'll show you guys that recipe and then I just got a salad for lunch I thought these looked really good at the front got some sourdough and apple for my oatmeal tomorrow and then I already started snacking on these but these little spicy salsa curls but I'm gonna make the what's it called, crock pot meal, so it's ready for tonight. It takes anywhere from four to six hours. And every time I've made it for anybody, they think it's like the best meal in the entire world. So this is a really good meal too, to make if you ever have anybody over, or if you have a date night at home, it's just really good. So I'm gonna put two chicken breasts straight in the crock pot. I really hate cooking raw chicken. I feel like everybody hates cooking raw chicken. So this is like, one of the only ways I'll eat chicken, I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite olive oil because it squeezes out, it's really easy. So two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll do about four cups of this. We're gonna add a bunch of corn in there. A whole packet of taco seasoning, tastes really good. That's all you have to do right now. And then you just want it to cook for four to six hours. And then once it's cooked, we're gonna shred the chicken. Currently looks like this before I mix it all together. I might have to add a little bit more chicken broth so at least the top of the chicken is coated but I also just want the taco seasoning to be kind of mixed in but you can mix it more afterwards cover it with the lid after it cooks for the four hours then I'm gonna go in and actually shred the chicken and then I'll turn more into a soup and then you can serve it over rice or you can serve it in taco shells it's really good also I want to show you guys the gym setup before I get filming we just kind of moved everything out from the middle so I can put the yoga mat right there probably will have to move this chair and I got this from Target, which is really cute. It's a yoga mat holder. Well, I'm using it as a yoga mat holder. And then I also have my weights in there. I got this really cute weight rack that I'll probably end up putting on this side of the room. This is where I'll put my tripod up, but somewhere. I'll find a spot for it. It's really cute. I'll put it on the screen, but we'll build that when we get back home since I don't have time today. But this is where we're gonna film. We ended up our dinner, just put some toppings, some avocado, some microgreens, some cilantro, and I'm also gonna mix in this sour cream. Have an Olipop, and Hunter didn't do it really like soup. He doesn't like it soupy. Can you try it? Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to sour cream. I think it makes everything 10 times better. I hate sour cream. Good morning. I'm like out of breath because I just got dressed and I've been running around cleaning up the house. We're actually leaving for the holidays right now, literally this morning within like the next 30 minutes. Hunter just went and got us some coffees and I was thinking about how sad I am that when we get back, the Christmas decoration is going to have to come down. I'll definitely keep it up until the New Year's, but why is like the holiday season gone by so fast this year? It genuinely makes me sad. I am about to go heat up the breakfast I made for myself yesterday, but I was just getting all of my presents together. These are actually exciting two gifts because I'm gonna ask Hunter's sisters to be my bridesmaids this weekend. 
I am so excited because these girls have been in my life for like nine years, which you guys know because Hunter and I have been together for six and a half years. We were also friends before that, so I just can't wait. Like this is the most excited I've ever been to give somebody a gift. And I'm also gonna write them little personalized notes in the car because I just think it'll be really cute and exciting. I know both of them are gonna be really excited. And then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast because we have a six hour drive ahead of us, which I'm actually really excited for because when we get into Arizona, usually we just like hang out at my parents the second we get in and honestly Hunter falls asleep right when we get in because he's so tired, which he might do tonight. But I actually have a dinner with my friends tonight, Katie, Mackenzie, and Lexi because Katie is actually asking us all to be her bridesmaids, which is fun. It's like really funny how all of like my closest girlfriends in my life are engaged, which is really fun. Not all of them, but like two of my very best friends, Katie and Lily, are both engaged. So it's funny we're like all doing this at the same time. I'm like way farther where like I'm not ready to ask all of my girls to be my bridesmaids because we don't even know like how many bridesmaids we're having and like I don't know, I just feel like maybe I'll do that when we're all like on a trip together or something like that. Um, but Josie and Caitlin, this is like the one time I'm gonna see both of them together until probably next Christmas. So I just wanted to ask them. And yeah, I'm excited to see how Katie does that tonight. I'll show you guys and bring you with me. But I actually thought ahead yesterday, as I do, <laughs> and I got Hunter his favorite protein shake. This is the Koi protein. It's a cinnamon horchata dairy-free, prebiotic, soy-free, plant-based protein shake. It's really good. I like those too, but I'm not much of a protein shake person. I was drinking the Owens like every day, which I actually miss those. I usually drink those a lot too when I go back to Arizona because my mom always gets talked with them, but I prefer like chewing food. That's just my personal preference. So I made a really big pot of oatmeal yesterday and I just split it into two. So we have apple, cinnamon, oats. This is pretty much the same recipe as the one that I posted on my Instagram, like the baked oats, and I was actually vlogging that day, so I think that was last vlog. But instead of like doing the egg and baking it, I just like obviously put it on the stove and made, ah, the stove and just made regular oatmeal. And now it's gonna be really easy also to heat up because I did that, so. Having our breakfast. I need to pack my little vitamin bag. I always bring like a bag of the things that I'm gonna need. We're only going for I think like eight days, but I'm gonna bring, I'll bring like a lot of element. Me and Hunter both drink these every day. If we don't work out, I'll just do half. And then maybe I will take my JS Health be bloat because sometimes my stomach gets upset on trips. I've gotta take my seed. And then I will also bring our travel packs of AG1, so. There we go, that's my little vitamin bag. We're at our favorite in the entire world. This in and out we go to every time we go home to Arizona. And we didn't know they had puppy patties, so. We got watch, how, watch how she gets the treats, she won't bite me. She's really gentle with treats. It's like a tradition for us to get an in and out burger. The best in and out order, in my opinion, is a cheeseburger that is animal style. Animal style means that they put the spread, grilled onions, and pickles, right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. And then I just like the regular french fries. I don't really like the animal style fries. I know you do. I have to be in the mood for the animal style fries because it is a lot of food. Did you get them today? But the better in that order is a double double animal style, not cheeseburger. Oh, I actually do like the double doubles depending on like how hungry I am. The double doubles are good. Because they're not like too big where it's like annoying to bite. I hate when I get a burger. If my burger can't all fit in my mouth, I take one bite, I don't like it. Yeah, like, that's why annoying. the McDonald's burgers are so good, because they're so small and compact that it's like, you get the perfect ratio every time. Yeah. Sometimes I actually don't like restaurant burgers because of that reason. But anyway, we gotta go, because Coco's, Coco's gonna bark. <laughs> I'm about to eat your puppy patty. Let me see it. <laughs> I know this is really sad if you don't live on the West Coast, but you do live on the West Coast, you know. This is just the best thing in the entire world. Okay, we're gonna eat and then I'll see you guys when we get to Arizona. Doesn't it look so cute? Yeah. It is so I cute. I love it. We're back. Reunited. For the whole freaking Cheers. two weeks. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're bridesmaids. Wait, what is it? We're bridesmaids. We're gonna, what is that TikTok you Oh yeah, we're bridesmaids. We're gonna. We're obviously gonna all match. Yeah, or like we're, whatever. We're, yeah. <laughs> you are. We're obviously gonna wear PJs. Every day. Thank you. Good morning, you guys. I'm 
putting on my earrings because I feel like it'll make this outfit look cuter. I actually just got this outfit, I'll show you guys in a little bit. I got it from Aritzia. It's really freaking cute. It looks like a Lululemon jacket and yoga pants, but I think it's like half the price, honestly. So, I'm putting in my ah, little Amazon dupes. Ow. My ears are hurting, babe. They're really hurting. Need to I'll do the other one in a second so I don't know you guys. We just woke up. We pulled up to Starbucks because Hunter's going to get a Starbucks. Well, I'm going to get a Starbucks too. But I am going to coffee with one of my friends this morning. And I can't wait because I haven't seen her. When did we see Baby Hey in Brandon? Um, Probably four months ago. More Met than that. More? Yeah. When we went to ice cream? It was cold outside. Was it cold out? But that doesn't make sense because we lived at our house. Okay, well it's been so long since I've been able to see her. And I'm so excited. We're gonna go get some coffee, just catch up. We're only gonna hang out for a little bit because she's in town for her mom lives in Arizona. And we're gonna meet by the Scottsdale Mall, which is gonna be really fun. Hunter and I are also leaving for the snow in two days. Can't wait, because we've never been on a ski trip before. And I just got a package in from Zara at my mom's house. I ordered it here. It's all of our cute like ski outfits and snow outfits. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. <laughs> Did you grab the right one? Yeah, you did. Okay, we'll see you guys when I get to baby hey. Ready. Hi, how are you? Oh, you look so cute. Oh, oh my god, I love those. Aren't they fun? Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.